Hello everyone and welcome to the Superhack Mode Workshop, Mode 101, a guide to deploying on the hypergrowth chain. Joining us today is Kat McGee, who will be taking us through this session. And with that, I'll pass it over to Kat to get the session started. Hey everybody. Very, very, very excited to be here. This is actually super special. So I'm Kat, I'm a developer relations engineer. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you and introducing for the very first time, Mode. Um, I say first time, but what, I am still in self mode right now. We're like in hot self. Um, so this is my first like introduction to the world. I am in the global, pretty global for a very long time. And it just made sense for us to jump on the super hack and talk with all these amazing sponsors and partners. We are an L2 on OP stack. So it just makes a lot of sense for us. And it's very, very exciting. So a little bit about what the hyper growth chain actually means. Um, we have noticed, you know, through all of our years in and lock in that there's kind of one big issue with it. And there's a ton of like developers like building and you know, projects, but actually growing those projects is the pain. It's difficult to do and you know, turning really good code or really good tech into businesses is, is something that we haven't quite made in blockchain yet. So the point of this L2 is kind of standard to a few different things. We've got technology based right into the protocol level that's going to really incentivize and um, have growth mechanics and have KPIs and have everything that you need to just develop like a working application that's going to get users. You guys focus on the code and then this kind of does all the business stuff for you. And then also on the other side, we're really focused on just growing an ecosystem in the community. You know, this, this was built by like people who've been actually building hundreds of blockchain projects for like seven years or something. So we want to support developers as they're doing this and we have that side as well so it's both kind of the technology and then the ecosystem are really good like people so why both so we're kind of trying to build this like whole big incentivized system that isn't just the idea of blockchain but actually is like on the protocol layer an ecosystem on a community so the way that we're doing that is through loads of different features but these are just some examples that we are working on for me and that at the moment. So we have contract secured revenue. So any developer who publishes a smart contract is going to actually get some fees from the transaction that go through to the smart contract. And this is something that we really, really feel that's just going to incentivize. Like you don't have to think about how you're going to make money. Your contract's going to make money for you immediately without any sort of extra stuff added to it. You just have to grow that and then just incentivize that to happen. Then there's like referral revenues, the whole point of the ecosystem and the community working together. So like anyone who refers, new developers, new users, new protocols is going to get a share of the transaction fee revenue onto that as well. So that's just like, you know, this, this growth ecosystem is going to incentivize people. Very exciting. And then there's also this dashboard and tooling. And this is honestly what I think is the most exciting part of our world in that developers can just like we can forget about all the marketing stuff and all the boring and like growth stuff and KPIs and all the like, you know, what kind of stuff do you have to give to PC is to get money. It's all it's all gonna be on these apps and gonna be tools and stuff in there and you can just focus on building what you're building and just say like grow and become a bit for you. Which is I say probably the most exciting thing about both. So Today, um, I kind of just want to work through like a deployment guide. It's just with an EVM chain, so it's very, very easy to do, just like any other EVM chain. I think Oscar then just had a workshop there and he explained how this is going to work and it's basically the same. It's just for extra steps because we are like a brand new chain still in stealth mode. So, first thing you got to do is go to 919. Obviously, super simple. We're on chain list. We are chain ID 919. So, just head on to chain list and go to mode we also just type in node instead of doing what's like um and then you get it to, uh, that's mad math if you wanted to manually if you want to stop chain that for whatever reason you can find all the information you need for adding it to mad math in our docs docs.mode.network there's some other resources and stuff there too or just like deployment guides and how it works and the point of it and everything there too if you want to learn some more information after that you're going to need to get to fully we don't have a faucet yet on mode so you only have a bridge. So <clears throat> if you just get the poly at you, we also have some, we can send it to you and just message us on the Discord, um, or you can use this faucet, get faucet by alchemy, sepoliafaucet.com. After that, bridge, after that, you bridge sepolia to mode. So just bridge.mode.network, super easy to use. 
um, plug in how much you want to you want to bridge over, make sure you are connected with your Sequoia, Ethereum, uh, MetaMask, and then we can also send you some as well. If you don't want to go through this process, just send a message on Partner Mode on Discord, and we'll DM you and figure that all out and get you some mode ETH. So for deploying, it's just the same as anything else. All you have to do is put us into your config files. So Remix, you know, obviously super simple. As long as you're connected to mode onto the um, on MetaMask, you just deploy using using MetaMask, and you can get your contact from mode. Hard hat, add mode to your hard hat config. Shuffle all, add mode to shuffle config. Same as anything. We also have a guide online for third web. Um, we're working pretty closely with them, and we think they are just super awesome for getting stuff up and running. So if you want to use their web or any sort of other tool, just go onto your docs and you'll be able to see like a really easy guide for that. Um, and yeah, you just have to gyro an API key for them with, that was reading the message. Yeah, click them um, mode network plugged in and then you're sorted. So this is a pretty short presentation. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to introduce both um, to the world, which is like super exciting. We are offering 10 fiber in USD at this hackathon to some really cool wacky projects. We just want you to build like cool stuff. So we're about 3K given the best overall. That can be in any theme, anything like we, this is gonna, you know, blow people away. So that's, that's 3K for that. 2K best developer tool, super important because we wanna be building up an amazing developer ecosystem and user ecosystem. 2K for best use of AI, AI, I think it's going to be a pretty huge theme of this hackathon, seeing some of the other prizes as well. So this could be as well, like anything your heart desires for AI, I just want to see it integrated pretty well. And then we have 2K for the most weird idea. I'm excited for this too. So anything that you just can dream on, but probably shouldn't be built, just build it. We just want to see like weird stuff, crazy stuff, stuff that you you know, maybe shouldn't make it this, but we want to make it exist. So we're absolutely for that too. Just be crazy, make memes, like do whatever you want. The thing that you've maybe thought of, like that's a stupid idea, just build it. We we want to see that. And then one hand press tool, you can see how to like qualify for that online. But basically any project doesn't win any of the other projects you deploy on those, you're going to be eligible for the prize pool. So some ideas, um, since we are a new gen, we're pretty much interested in like anything. We have not much <laughs> so far like deployed onto the so we're looking for anything anything you want to build like it's going to be super awesome but these are some of the ideas that us and the team are just like super into so obviously integration of other projects we want to get cross chain get some oracles in there get some like queries the graph maybe and a little sponsoring um just some like some interesting things there like this or other chains we don't have it yet on both so that would be so so awesome just to build the secret system Identity system as well is going to be really important for mode um, in that as well because we're doing this like reputation for them and referral system. How are we going to like actually have like even several resistance and identity on that chain? So something for that would be like super interesting. It's something that we need. Data visualization. So obviously we are working on dashboard. So we do have some like sort of all level data visualization, but just more and more is obviously good. So any sort of blockchain visualization tools that looks awesome if we want it to just be attract users and stuff love that kind of stuff um decentralized exchanges you know user focus kind of stuff like that innovative DeFi as well so stuff that's also crazy like there's so much you could do in DeFi. be crazy be weird and be wacky with it um get some weird DeFi project i think that'd be really cool you can also maybe integrate ai into that get some user-friendly DeFi. Could be interesting. Um, cloud abstraction, anything, of course, maybe like an AA wallet for modes, I mean, like themed after rug could be really, really cool. Um, that's like also probably a pretty huge theme of the hackathon. Then just like we love games as well. Um, I know the team has like built a ton of blockchain based games and stuff, but that's something that we're super into. So something that actually utilizes blockchain in a game pretty well and it's just like weird and crazy you just thought of a game that no one were gonna play that you think it's funny and like give it a go or there's like instagram ads that you always see that are just like weird games they're funny let's just build that you know build whatever you want but we love games um it's on there like ideas for the ai pride providing ai and nfts like we've seen ai 
um, integrated like really well into like previous global hubs. And people are doing some crazy stuff with it. Like you could just talk to a blockchain or you could use AI to do swaps and stuff. We've seen projects like that. They're awesome. I haven't seen anything that actually like combines AI with AI and getting people. I think that's like a really cool use case. So something that does like creatively would be really cool. Um, AI for gas prediction as well. You could maybe like combine this with a kind of abstraction and do like, you know, if you submit transaction with the chain, it like looks the chain. It's like, okay, well, it's going to be cheapest if we do this one. 20 minutes instead of nine so maybe you can like just load it and then it kind of starts to and then it like gets over to the chain or something it's cool so tons of ideas we're also interested in zk didn't want to put it here because i don't think there's any zk protocols actually sponsoring super hot but having anything to do with privacy on xamarin's groups on well it would be insane um we something i want to stress as well is that like because we're all about ad build developers being entrepreneurs and really like build this ecosystem up. And because we are still very early stages of mode, we want to keep working with you. We want to turn you into entrepreneurs. We want to make your project successful. And in the sense of that, we're going to be like offering grants to awesome products and built here. You guys are going to be the first people to go through our grant systems. That's really, really exciting. Um, so if you're interested in that, when you're submitting a project into ETH Global, you'll be able to like click, pick a box that says we're interested in grants. So just make sure you take that if you're interested in us reaching out to you, um, because we really want to get some like awesome developers building awesome stuff on mode. And uh, that is it. So a lot of time here. Um, like most important thing is just to enjoy the hackathon. We are partner mode on discord and the global discord come and say hi we're always there even if you're not like hopping on road just say hi we'll support you anyway um so yeah if anyone's got any questions and zoom chat is open feel free to send some stuff into there otherwise i think this one's pretty short awesome cheers thank you yeah if anybody has any questions feel free to type them in the chat or take yourself off mute uh, and ask away. And if there are no questions, then yeah, as Kat said, definitely reach out to uh, the team on the Discord channel. Um, they will be there and happy to assist as you all progress through the hackathon over the next uh, couple of days. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's it. So yeah, thanks. Thanks, Kat. Thanks for the great workshop and presentation. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you all, everybody else for attending. Have a great rest of your Friday and have a great weekend and happy hacking. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Cheers. Thank Hope you. See y'all on the Discord. Bye, everyone.